Who has been Real Madrid's best 10 players this season? This is what this video is all about. Honestly, honestly, if I did who has been Real Madrid's 10 most disappointing players, I would have completed this list so quickly, so quickly. This was difficult to do, not because I struggled with how many options we have and how many good players we have. I've just struggled with, bro, there hasn't been a many great players for us this season. I mean, no one really has exceeded expectations. And let me just make it very clear. The numbers is there. Some of the players, they have numbers to back it up. And from the outside looking in, you look at those players and say, wow, this guy, this guy's got seven goals. This guy, he must have a great season. But if you actually really and truly watch Real Madrid and actually watch the whole 90 minutes, you would understand, bro, we have been awful this season. And only certain players has really stepped up and actually done something. Others, they're just there for vibes and they've just got the GAs. But really and truly, they haven't really done anything amazing. But because we've entered pretty much quarter into the season so far, I felt like this was a good time just for us to understand who really has delivered and who really needs to pick it up. Before I go any further, don't forget to just like, share, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. And of course, comment your own top 10 list and whether you want me to do this with Barcelona as well. All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 10th place. And again, this is from 22 players from Real Madrid this season. In 10th place, honestly, bro, 10, 9, 8, 7. Bro, it was difficult, bro. But 10th place, I felt like Arda Gula. Arda Gula deserves 10th place. Arda Gula, he hasn't really had enough starts. But every cameo off the bench is important. Every cameo off the bench, he does something. And every time he's had a chance to play, he hasn't disappointed. I can't really recall a bad, bad performance or performance which I said to myself, he hasn't delivered. Every time he gets minutes off the bench, bro, every time he starts, he shows glimpses and he might be in terms of an important impact sub, bro. But I don't want him to be an impact sub. I'm sick and tired of this. Some of the players hasn't delivered who's starting. Why not play him, bro? Certain games, like the last game he should have played. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he starts getting more minutes. Because every time he does get minutes, I hope all of you guys can agree to this. Every time he plays, he delivers. Let's give him some chances, bro. Let's give him some damn chances. In ninth place, I have got Rodrigo. I will be completely honest with you. The only reason why I've got him above Arda Gula is not because of performances, really. It's because of the fact that he's got more stats to back it up. And he's had... If we were to recall Rodrigo's... I think in terms of consistency, Arda Gula has had better consistency, in, in my opinion. Again, I could be wrong. But in terms of when Rodrigo's really on it and when Rodrigo's really feeling it, there isn't a lot of better players than him. There isn't many players better than him. But the question is, when is he feeling it? When am I getting that vibe from him? When am I getting that mentality from him? Because so far this season, we've seen glimpses of it. We've seen halves of it. But we haven't seen the full 90 minutes of it. I see a half. He does, he does amazing. Another game, he shows me nothing. Another game, he shows me something. Another game... He's invincible. Now, when am I going to see the consistency? He's out here talking about, don't forget the R. Don't forget the R. You can talk about Jude. You can talk about Mbappe. You can talk about Vinny. But don't forget the R. All right, bro. In order for you to make us not forget about the R, give us performances that is unforgettable. So far this game, we're 12 games in. I, have, I can't recall. I can't say to myself, Rodrigo had an amazing game in game week 5. No. I can say Rodrigo had a great half. I can't say he's had a full match. Come on, bro. I know what you can do. I know when you're on it, you're one of the best wingers in the world. You are the best second. For me, he's the best left, second best left wing in the world behind Vinny. When he's on it, he's one of the best wingers on the right hand side, even though he's not a natural right winger. Give me something, bro. I can't keep defending this. 
In eighth place, I've got a guy who really and truly, technically speaking, is our top scorer, but it hasn't really done anything. And again, people on the outside will look at him. Why the hell have you just mentioned him now? He deserves to be higher. No. Killian, Killian Mbappe. Eighth place. And honestly, honestly speaking, bro, uh, you need to pattern up. <laughs> you, I, I can only recall two good performances from you. I can only really say, yo, you've had two good performances. Certain times your passing has been off. Most of the time your passing has been off. Most of the time you keep running into the same space of Vinny. Most of the time you're missing chances which you should be finishing. Most of the time you can't even dribble past a five-year-old. Like, I know adaptation is important. I, I, I never expected you to hit the mark early on. I'm happy that the numbers is there. I'm happy that at least we're getting something. And that's good. That's a good starting point. And I think the the, the performances will, will 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 get better. I'm not worried about it. I'm not I'm not concerned one bit. I know Mbappe will get better. I know Mbappe. In my opinion, he can even win the Ballon d'Or because it's early on. I reckon. Come give it, give it, give it a couple more weeks, a month down the line. I reckon we're gonna see the real version of Mbappe. Everyone who's saying Mbappe's finished, Mbappe's finished, he's not going to go back to where he was, 2021, 2022, everything. Nah, 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 nah. I've seen him run as quickly as I've seen him this season. The goal he scored against Alavis, that's the glimpses that he can do, bro. The back heel, the one-two with Jude, the shimmy, the dribble, the finish. That's what he can do. But we still need to see something from him. We can't just see one the whole season. The goal against Atalanta, the movement, the incredible IQ movement, and then the finish. We can give me consistency, bro. Give me consistency. In seventh place is someone who, in my opinion, his performance has been decent. It's just a shame he's been injured certain times and that we had to play, force him to play as a centre back. And that's Chimeni. I think Chimeni has been consistent. I think Chimeni has been, in my opinion, he's been very good this season. I don't think. Uh, maybe there was one game earlier this season which he could have done better, but other than that, I think he's been quite consistent. I don't think I can recall something that say he's been bad or he's been disappointing. And I think if anyone makes a top 10 list, Chemini should be within that little mid-table finish. He's been very good defensively the, um, when he went against Lil as a cent when he covered for Militao when Militao went, was, was substituted, he did very well defensively. And that's what he can do. He's very, very adaptable, whether it's a DM or whether that is a um, centre-back. And I, honestly, I just want him to get a bit more rhythm because he just came back from an injury. I just want to get a bit more rhythm and a bit more consistent playing as a DM. And when he plays as a DM, bro, he is one of the best DMs in the world. Make no make no question about it. No, that's, that should be no question about it. No questions. In sixth place, I've got Antonio Rudiger. Antonio Rudiger this season... He's been good. He's not been great. He's not been amazing. He's not been exceptional. He's been good. But he can do better. And the reason why I say he, he's been good, he can do better, is that some of the goals that we've conceded this season, he's been sleeping. He's been lazy. He could have done much better. The goal against Atleti comes to mind straight away and will always come to mind straight away because we conceded in the last seconds of the game and we should have never conceded. I don't know why he pushed forward with that offside trap. That's what I mean. He needs to be better with those certain moments. Because last season, I can't think of anything bad mistakes he did last season. And so far this season, it hasn't. That's been one mistake that I remember he made against Alavis, but he made up for it. But again, he's he's making a little bit of mistake. And again, maybe because he's tired, maybe because he's fatigued. And again, I understand it because we're forcing to play him 90 minutes every single game because we've got no cover, we've got no centre backs, and he's getting older. I maybe hear in that perspective, but I need him to do better. Again, he's not been bad. Don't get me wrong, he's not been bad. I just need him to be. Mm, a little bit better. In fifth place, I've got someone who, if he wasn't injured for three weeks, and if he didn't miss three or four games, he would be much, much higher. That is Jude Bellingham. I don't care. I don't care if he hasn't scored. I don't care if he's only got one assist. I think performances-wise, he's been very good. He's given us workhorse performances. He's given us complete performances. Defensively, he's been exceptional on defensive end. He's been fighting for his life fighting for his life because of the system that we have, that 4-3-3, which doesn't really allow him to do what he wants to do on the offensive end. He's doing all the dirty work. He's literally, because of the space, because 4-3-3, it leaves us so run 
vulnerable defensively. He does everything. Literally, he's a box to box at the moment. He's defending, fighting for his life, ball carrying, trying to create, trying to find the pass, but no one really is making any movements, which makes his job very harder. Which makes his job very harder. And this is where I mean, like he has to, he's taking the burden of Tony Cruz. A lot of our midfielders has taken the burden of Tony Cruz because Tony Cruz is unique, bro. No one can replace Tony Cruz. There isn't any player in the world right now that I can say to myself, "This guy's the profile of Tony Cruz." If we get him, he can replace Tony Cruz. No one can do it. All we have to do is trying to maybe compromise, and everyone trying to maybe give their part. And that's what he's trying to do. But no one really is helping him in terms of. That's why Rodrigo's way below. That's why Mbappe, I put him way below. No one is making that effort. To, you know. Well, let me help but in terms of Jude like I said nothing bad about him he's been for me very good this season very good this season it's just a shame he's been injured he's only played four games if he's had more minutes under his belt if he's had more games under his belt if he's had more consistency on this belt he'll be higher bro but like I said stats I don't care about man Jude this season if you don't see it then you're either a stat merchant or you don't watch the game you don't watch the game. And in fourth place, I have got Vinicius Junior. I think he's been our best attacker by far. I think he's been let down a lot of games because he's the only one trying to create something. And hence the reason why I've got him in fourth because he's, 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 he's dying as well. He's dying on the pitch because... I think at the moment we've got a a, a, a a problem. We all know about the system. I, I don't want to repeat myself every single video because I keep mentioning the match reviews. We have got a system problem. We have got a, a, a problem because I don't think people really understand where they need to be. I think everyone clashes in the same position. We see so many times, like three, four, five times in a game where Mbappe and Vinny is, is literally standing in the same position. Once that figures out, I think we'll be good. But Vinny has been trying to create something. And what annoys me is that if he loses the ball, if he tries to do a magic, people get upset. Well, play the safe option. If he does play the safe option, then we ain't going to score. So the only way forward is if Vinny does take risks. Because at the moment, like I said, that's no system. That's no passages of plays. So we're just relying on Vinny's individual brilliance. Bro, every game we go to, it was give it to Vinny. Let's just pray he does something. That's been Madrid's tactic this season. And this is what we've been relying on. This is why I can't, he can't carry us every game and say, you know what, come jump here and I'll take you to victory. He can't do this every single game. So that's why I think, very good. The reason why I've got him fourth and not higher is because certain games I felt like he wasn't the best of Vinny's. Like Vinny hasn't really had a 10 out of 10 every single game. He's given us great performances, but that's been a couple of bad performances. But unlike Mbappe and Rodrigo, Mbappe and Rodrigo is basically hit and miss every game. Vinny has been hit and He's been giving us more hits than misses. So that's why he's fourth, because there's still few performances which I look at Vinny and say, you can do better than that. I know you can do better than that. In third place, Militao. Great Romantada season. Great season he's having this season. If you don't even see it, then damn, what are you watching? I, I, I like the bounce back. I like the bounce back. Uh, I think he's been much more consistent than Rudi Rudiger. I don't like when he plays left centre-back because whenever he plays left centre-back, he doesn't really give us that Militao that we know about. But whenever he plays right centre-back, I don't think he's had... He's maybe had one bad half that I can remember, but he's, he's, he hasn't had a bad game. He really hasn't had a, a bad, bad game that I can recall myself and say, wow, we had a stinker. I think he's been consistent and, and I like the fact he's bounced back from last season when everyone called, called him off last season and, and everyone said he's not going to go back to what it was last season. I think he's recovered well. I think he's played well. And I think give it a couple more games and I think he will remind everyone that, yo, before I went down, before my ACO injury, I was, I was labelled as one of the best centre-backs in the world. Don't forget about me. Do not forget about me, bro. I'm. This is still my team. And second place, Thibaut Courtois. If it wasn't for Thibaut, damn, we would have conceded much more goals than what we are, fam. If it wasn't for Thibaut, we would have lost more than just one game. You know, you know, on paper, yeah, on paper. Let's be let us be real, Madristas, man. Let's be real, man. The fact that we've only lost one game this season, damn, it would have been much more if it wasn't for Thibaut. 
He's literally reminding everyone why he is the, the, the best goalkeeper in the world. And there is no competition. Before you can even say, yeah, you know what, Alisson Tebow, Alisson Tebow, Alisson Tebow. Alisson, I love you, man. I respect you, Alisson. Go second place. It's not even, yeah, you know what, 1A, 1B. Nah, it's 1 and 2. And this season, he's telling everyone, everyone who said, yo, I'm finished. Let Luna take my position. Are you crazy? This is still my position. And it'll be my position for years to come. Because so far this season, if it wasn't for him, Madrid would have conceded much more goals and they would have lost much more games. And then number one, undisputed, no question asked, no debates, no discussions, not even trying to waste my breath, trying to argue against it. Fede, Valverde, consistency, ability, the best player of our team. And honestly, when I say this in the nicest ways of possible, is by far our, our best player this season. Don't look at the last two games, last three games, in my opinion, it hasn't been the best of Fede's, but he's still out there winning man of the match. The game, the game against Atleti, I didn't even think. For me, I know Fede. I know Fede more than anyone else. I know inside and outside of Fede. And with Fede, that performance against Atleti, I don't know why. I, people said, oh, I, I, bro, I saw compilations on Twitter. I saw so many compilations and people said this is the best Fede. Clearly, you haven't really watched Fede if this if you think that's the best version of Fede. But then at the same time, it's a compliment to Fede. If this is his best performance, then damn. His bad perf his average performance is winning him out of the match. Imagine what his great performance is doing. But this season, bro, phenomenal. He's on he's literally been our midfield. And certain games, such a dad, our only midfield. He was doing the job of a three-man midfield because of him. Attacking the right hand side, certain games is only him because all of our wingers want to play on the left hand side, and sometimes it's just him, bro. Everything that you want is him. I just hope for the sake of Fede and for the sake of our season because if he goes down, Mamma Mia, Pizzeria, we're finished, we are cooked. That's why, for his sake, we need to give him some rest, couple games, bro. Rest him, rest him, couple games. But other than that, what can I say about him? I think if anyone was going to be making a list, if anyone was going to be ranking Real Madrid's top 10 players, top 5 players, top 3 players, or whatever your ranking is, if Fede is not number 1, I do not take your list seriously. You can argue about 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can argue within, the shash, the, maybe he should be higher. He, I, I don't care. 1 is undisputed. Undisputed by far. By far. But guys, this has been my top 10 Real Madrid players so far this season. And I'm ha I'm happy with my list. Put down in the comments if you disagree with certain options. If you felt like players should be higher or some players should be lower. Then put down in the comments. I really want to see your list. I really want to see. And it's not just Madrid fans. I'm quite curious to hear from an a neutral point of view or from an arrival point of view what they maybe have seen because they might look at it from a different perspective the way we look at it is different the way other people look at it might be different so put down your list i'll react to them as well and put down the comments if you want a barcelona version because unlike madrid you know how i struggled with this one because there wasn't really many with barcelona pff, damn there is many I'll see you soon. Peace.